Happy Monday! It is officially the reading rush. It is underway. At least it's underway for you guys. It's not for me. I am a few days earlier getting ready to film my TBR. But by the time you watch this, I will be doing nothing but reading for this entire week. I am nervous. I have not taken part in the reading rush in ages. So the last time I did it was back in 2017 when it was still called Booktubeathon and it was the same week that year as what was it called? Um, the Biannual Bibliothon, which no longer exists, but that was another readathon I absolutely loved. So I did both of them that week. I was so committed. I tried to get all of the challenges from both readathons. I filmed videos every day doing all the video challenges, which are so embarrassing. <laughs> They're still up on my channel. They involve like one where I reenacted the parent trap and I played both twins at the same time and tried to put on an American accent. It was so embarrassing. <laughs> and other even worse ones that I've blocked from my memory. But finally, Three years after that, I am back ready to take part in this readathon, daily vlogging, just as much energy as I gave it three years ago, though hopefully a bit less cringe. There are seven prompts for the reading rush, and I am planning to try and read seven books, though I don't know how I think I'm going to do that, because I've picked like pretty long books for a lot of these, and also I am not on holiday. Like last time I did it, I was on holiday, so I had all day, every day to read. This time I am working full time. Someone just said some really loud building work outside the window. It's so annoying. Could you stop? Honestly, they're quiet all day and then every time I try and film they start. And this has happened so many times to me. What are you even doing? What even is that noise? I've got a lot of things filling my day right now. I don't know how I think I'm also going to read a whole book every single day and also edit a whole video every single day. But we're going to give it a go because that's the energy we have on Drinking By My Shop. So prompt number one is to read a book that matches the colour of your birthstone, which I had to Google because honestly I have no idea. Why would I know that? I barely know my star sign. But it turns out my birthstone is a moonstone, which I think is this kind of creamy, pearly colour. Ideally this would be more shiny, but I just really want to read this and I think it fits just about. So this is Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reid, which I've heard so much about people on booktube and bookstagram and, and in real life people I'm talking to like everyone seems to be completely loving this book. The second prompt is just to read a book that starts with the word the which is like half of the books on my shelf so I've picked The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett which is another one that has been everywhere on booktube this summer people are talking about it all the time and saying it's amazing. I've heard so many people put this in their like favourite books of the year so far and also just favourite books of all time so very, very high hopes for this one. It's another big, chunky hardback. I'm not making life easy for myself, but it's gorgeous and beautiful. And it's apparently a retelling of the book Passing by Nella Larson, which I studied at university and really enjoyed. And I also really enjoyed Boy Snow Bird by Helen Oyemi, which is another retelling of Passing. So it's going to be along that theme, I believe. Prop number three, a book that inspired a movie you've already seen. So this one I struggled with. I went through my TBR shelf and I don't own any books that are the basis of movies I've already seen. What I do own is this book, Stories of Your Life and Others by Ted Chiang. The One of the stories from this short story collection is the basis of the movie Arrival, which I haven't seen, but I've heard is really good. So what I'm gonna try and do is watch the movie Arrival. Hopefully I would have already seen it by the time you watch this because I've got no time to watch it during the Reading Rush week. And then I can read this book. For that prompt or even if I'm running out of time just read the specific story that inspired it for this prompt so that could work. If not I do have on my shelf the book Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier which I have read but a long long time ago back when I was at school like 15 years ago I think I read that um, and I have seen that movie. Oh or I had a thought I could reread the book Never Let Me Go so that is a book by Kazuo Ishiguro which I absolutely loved when I read it fuck, 10 full years ago. It was the book that I was sent right before I started university and I absolutely loved it. One of my favourite books ever, but I haven't reread it since then, but I have seen the movie. So that could work if I want a reread. I have a few options, but I am going to aim for this one because I'm interested in watching the movie Arrival and this book is so pretty and I often struggle with short stories, but I've heard that Ted Chiang is just amazing and this is like speculative stories rather than full sci-fi stories, which is like exactly my favourite little niche. So yeah, that's what I'm aiming for. Problem number four is just to read the first book you touch. And they said that this is like open to interpretation of what that would mean for you. So initially I was like, on Monday morning, I would just walk in here with my eyes shut and touch the trolley, stop with the building work and see what's the first book I touch. And that is what I'm going to do. But I am going to aim with my eyes shut to touch my dark Vanessa. 
I promise not to literally just put it on the end and cheat and know exactly what it is. Like, I'll put it in the middle and then try and get the right one. Um, because I really want to read this one this month. It was the book that my patrons voted for me to read. So I have to read it this month. Um, so reading it during the Reading Rush week makes sense. So that'll be the first thing, I guess, that I'll film on Monday morning which is today for you, but you'll see it tomorrow when the video goes up, is me coming in here with my eyes shut and trying, hoping I pick up this book and not one of the other ones next to it, which I don't want to read. Prompt five is to read a book completely outside your house. So I picked the smallest one on my TBR shelf for this. This is The Harpy by Megan Hunter, which I am really excited to read. I loved Megan Hunter's last book and I've heard this is very weird and wonderful. So I'm going to try and read this Every time we go for a dog walk on our lunch break, I'm gonna bring this with me and read it walking around, go and sit in the garden for a bit, maybe like while Argy's gardening, I could go and like help him one-handed planting and read with the other, we'll make that work. Prompt six is to read a book in a genre you've always wanted to read more of. So for this one, I've got The Psychology of Time Travel by Kate Mascarenhas. This one was given to me as a birthday present by Victoria from What Victoria Read. Thank you so much. So excited. And um, time travel is a genre that I absolutely adore and always want to read more books that explore time travel in different ways. So it had to be this one. And then finally, prompt number seven is to read a book set on a different continent than you. So I have picked The Ayasawa Murders by Riku Onda, which is about a murder. Well, it's like about a party in the 70s um, and it's set in Japan by the way which is on a different continent to me there's this birthday party at a villa and 17 people at this party all die from being poisoned so it's a mystery about what happened and I love that kind of stuff so these are my seven books that I'm apparently attempting to read in seven days while also holding down a job which seems completely impossible but I'm gonna give it a go and I also do have like backups of how I can double up these challenges because I think that's allowed, right? I'm gonna say it's allowed for me. So like, for example, this one, which I'm using for the prompt about a movie that you've seen could also work for reading a book from a genre you've wanted to read more of, because I have always wanted to try more short stories, wanted to try more speculative sci-fi, so that would work. I think all of these are set on a different continent to me, so that would work for that. All four of these begin with the word the, so any of those could work for that prompt. Oh, this also matches my moonstone, maybe even better, because it's a bit shinier. Technically, I could cover all seven prompts with just these three books so this could work for the and outside my house this could work for moonstone movie and genre and this could work for first book I touch if I manage to touch it first and also set on a different continent so I'll be reading three to seven books this week but wish me luck let's hope it's closer to seven and I will see you guys tomorrow I'm gonna to be posting videos every day this week showing you my progress bye